Hi, in this tutorial we'll cover the basics of the virtual dub, which is an awesome program. To find more information about the virtual dub or to download it, go on virtualdub.com. So in this clip we'll cover how to compress the video, extract part of it, and finally extract an image sequences of your clip. So let's begin by introducing how this program works. So this is your working area, this is obviously the timeline, and at the bottom there is a quite a bunch of buttons. This is your stop button, the play button, the go to first frame, go to last frame, those two is to move frame by frame. This is your, let's call it the mark in button, and this is the mark out button. Those four here won't be introduced in this clip. Let's continue now. So this is my video clip. However, as you can see, the video is 3.5 gig, as is quite huge. And furthermore, the video only lasts for two minutes. That is not normal. That is due to the fact that, and that the video was not compressed. So what we intend to do now is to recompress the video to something smaller. So just click it and drag it into your virtual dub. So now we'll ask virtual dub to compress the video using a codec. So go into video and make sure full processing mode is activated and go again into video and set compression. Here we have a bunch of codec. So I will be using the IVX 5.11 codec. If you go if you want to go further into the, the configuration, click configured and play with the settings. Uh, we will be using the bitrate adjustment. It says here kilobyte per second. So higher this value is better the quality will be. And in video you have the resize function. You can here decrease the resolution in order to put it, to put your video on, on a PDA on an iPod. So let's click OK. You can also do the same thing with the audio, make sure the full processing mode is engaged and select compression and then uh, put in a codec. Uh, however the audio doesn't play a large role in the size. Now that our codec is engaged, click on file and select save as AVI and let's call it compress.avi. So now that I have compressed the file, you can see that the video is much more smaller. It is now 32 megs compared to 3.5 gig. So now we'll go further into the subject. We'll cover the part where you want to extract a portion of your clip. So this is your timeline and let's say I want to begin the scene here. So I will click on the mark in button. Let's go further into the scene and let's say I want to select the ending of this scene. I will, set, I will click on the frame by frame button and find the ending. So ah, there, there it is. So the ending is around here. There we go. So now I will select the mark out button. So as you can see the blue region is our selected portion. So then click on file and select save as AVI. It will now save your portion. Let's call it uh, extract part. And there we go, your portion has been extracted. So now we'll cover the last part of our tutorial, how to extract an image sequence. Let's say for example, I want to begin the sequence here. Let's put a mark in just here, and then a mark out just there. So this is our blue portion, and in this portion I want all the frames converted into an image. So we know that this is our part. Let's go into file and select save image sequence. So for the file name suffix, uh, prefix, let's call it, I don't know, Bob. And file name suffix, don't change it, let it dot jpeg. Uh, for the mi middle number of digit in the name, 
we don't care and the directory make sure it is in a directory because let's say 3000 frame on your desktop is not that great uh, okay so finally say jpeg and put it at 100% finally press ok so now it will extract all the frames and convert it let's go into our explorer and let's see what how it is there we go so we have now all the frames converted into an image version.